Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Craft Bauer, and in this video I will be showing you how to make an automatic boat dispenser, like I've shown in my other videos, but this time I'm going to show you how to make it. So this is basically the main part of it. There's a bunch of pools uh, with currents facing towards the main collection area, and there's a door but at the um, entrance to each pool, or the exit to each pool, and these doors can be controlled by the redstone button. So every time you press the button, the doors open and the boats move up, move up one queue. I can see that it's getting kind of dark right now, so I'm going to um, start a new clip when I show you how to make this. So here's how it works. Well, this is basically what it is. Then you can press it as many times as there are boats. So that's basically the boat dispenser. So I'll stop the video right now and I will continue once it gets lighter. Okay, I'm back. It's light again. And I'll be showing you how to make it. I've already made the basic shell of the tower over right there because it's the most time consuming st part of this tutorial and anybody who knows me knows that I don't like consuming time. So this is basically it. So you have to make a, I'll just make one holding pool for this. You have to make a three by six holding pool and make it one down in the ground. and then make go down one step this is where the door is going to be and then go down two more for the bottom of the pool, for the bottom of the tower and also when you're making the tower make sure you leave one right here for the redstone to go on or to go under there to open the door so the tower is basically 4 by 4 blocks and then uh, a um 2 by 2 opening for the water so I'll basically put the water in right now This is the water elevator. And then we go over here. So once you have all this done, put a door. Oh, whoops. Did not mean to do that. Put a uh, door right there. And then get out a ladder. And put two ladders right there. That's to stop water. Then come over here and put a water current in that area, in that corner, and a water current in this corner. So now I can put a boat in, and it will be forced over by the door. Now we can start doing the redstone. I'll put a little spiral staircase so we can get the um, redstone up, and I'll add a little ledge for the button. I always use a different type of block so I can see the button because they're a little hard to see against stone. So now we can just spiral it down. I'll go around. Whoops. Ah, I keep falling in. So, got the boat over there. And connected to that redstone current. So now, hopefully, when we press this button, the boat will pop up. There we go. You've made your automatic boat dispenser. Now you can 
hook this up to anything you want. You can like leave it out. You can make this out in the open ocean, and so you can just quickly get a boat. And of course, you can also make more uh, little holding areas by just doing this. I'll just make one really quick for you guys, so you can see what I'm talking about. So basically make another 3x3 three three area, then water there, oops, water here, then dig down, then dig down again. The dig down again is so the, um, I personally like that because um, the boat, the doors look kind of better. You can't see them as good as if it's just um, if it's on the flat ground. So now we can link this up. I have two boat holder holder holders, I guess you could call them. So now. Can press it twice and get two boats. Um, in the next tutorial, in the next automatic boat dispenser tutorial, I might show you how to add a reloader, like so you can just push a boat down a well and it'll reload and maybe the last one. So I'll say that for a later tutorial. So, you just made your first automatic boat dispenser. Uh, thanks for watching, and please subscribe if you want to see more of this. Thanks.